Performance variants of mass market cars have always held a lot of appeal for driving enthusiasts. Nameplates like M3, GTI, and STI are exciting because they bring expanded ability to familiar faces. And these days, such performance cars can be found at a lot of different price points and in many different form factors. Audi's new S3 has the potential to slide into the sleeper market like a hand into an Alcantara line glove. With a turbocharged engine, quattro all-wheel drive, and subtle good looks, this could be the hottest pocket rocket that the Volkswagen Group now makes. How does it look? From the outside, the S3 basically looks like Audi's entry-level A3 with better wheels. There are some subtle body modifications, and of course badges, to call out improved performance, but you almost have to know what you're looking for to know they're there. Beyond that, I think the car is handsome in a conservative way. How's the storage? So you're definitely not going to fit luggage for a family of four in this compact trunk, though it is about average for the size. The aperture is a little bit small and it's not very forgiving for weirdly shaped items or bags. Again, the S3 doesn't bend the rules of space to accommodate a huge amount of bottles, cans, or electronics. Still, there's enough space for my large smartphone in the center cubby, reasonable cup holders and door pockets, and a handy hidden tray for your keys. Is it roomy? I actually spent the weekend with four adults in this car, not on a road trip, mind you, but driving around town. The three passengers were kind about not complaining, and none of them very tall, as space in the back seats isn't more generous than for the average compact. For me, at six foot five inches tall, the front seats are okay, the back seats definitely are not. How does the interior feel? Now, all you have to do is sit down behind the steering wheel of the S3 to tell that this car is a little bit more special than the A3. The front bucket seats are very supportive, they're sporty looking, and they've even got this quilting pattern on it that references more expensive Audi performance products. In terms of the forward view, it's a lot more like the base car. I've got an S3 badge and some S3 gauges, but the rest of the car is basically the same. Is it well equipped? The stuff that makes this S3 feel special, other than the stronger engine, is largely pulled from the optional category. My tester has about $7,500 of added equipment on it, including the fancy sport seats, drive select with magnetic dampers and 19 inch wheels, and the tech pack that grants MMI touch and navigation. How's the infotainment system? Since Audi introduced its virtual cockpit system on the TT, Q7, and A4, this older software feels very last generation, but it's still better than most on the market. The touchpad on top of the MMI control knob is pretty accurate if you use the handwriting feature, and the thumb controls on the steering wheel are still my favorite way to interact with the system. Is it a good daily driver? So the test car that I have today has got Audi's Drive Select system, which among other things means that it's got magnetically adjustable dampers. And that means that I can change it from a comfort setting into a dynamic setting, which really changes the handling profile. And in part because of those dampers, it really helps the S3 be a pretty undercover daily driver. Like I said, a sleeper. The ride quality is really good and it's pretty quiet too, which means that you can just drive it like an average A3 and nobody really knows the difference. The advantage of having the extra power, of course, is that when I'm trying to pass a line of traffic on the freeway or just merge uh, into traffic, I've got all the power in the world to get that done and quickly. Is it fun to drive? Now, let's get to the meat of the S3. Even though this car has a two liter turbo engine, just like uh, some of the A3s do, this one makes a pretty good amount of horsepower, 292 in fact, to go along with 280 pound feet of torque. Uh, that really does get the car moving. The zero to 60 is about 4.7 seconds, which is pretty fast. It's fast for the class, the compact class, but it also just feels fast on the road. The car also corners really well, and probably most importantly, because of the Quattro all-wheel drive, it gives you a ton of pop out of the corner. 
Now, of course, I'm a driving enthusiast and a car journalist, so I'm gonna bitch that there's not enough feedback. The car doesn't feel very tactile, and that's sort of something that Audi does these days. Even still, when you push the car, you get rewarded for it. It does talk to you. It's just that it's a lot more through the seat of your pants than it is through the actual steering wheel. How's the fuel economy? Over the last week, I've been having my fun and only averaged about 23 miles per gallon. And that's with a lot of highway driving in the mix. However, the EPA says that if you keep the boost meter in check, the two liter turbo will return 31 highway and 23 city. How much is it? Audi wants $42,500 for the most basic S3. And my car is optioned up to nearly $50,000. For reference, you can get the Volkswagen Golf R with much of the same running gear starting at about $36,000. For a nice handling premium car with all wheel drive and a solid powertrain, mid 40s makes sense to me. But higher than that, I start to feel a little bit woozy. What are the negatives? So I get why the GTI is more fun to drive than the Golf. And I understand that the WRX is a better steer than an Impreza. It's a little bit harder for me to see $10,000 worth of difference between an A3 and an S3. Yeah, the S3 is faster and it goes around a corner quicker, but it doesn't have stuff that gets me really excited about driving the car, and that's kind of what a performance variant should do. Who should buy it? Listen, the S3 is undeniably quick and grippy, and if you drive it hard, it can be really compelling. If you're the type of person that likes a sleeper, real undercover speed, then this is one Audi that will definitely make you smile. Hey everybody, if you like this Why Buy video on the Audi S3, there's a good chance that you're gonna like more. Subscribe to our channel, find us on Facebook, Twitter, or at MotorOne.com.